go through some examples. A vertical or slant asymptote is a vertical or a slanted line um, which the function never touches. It will approach it, but it will never touch it. Um, and the reason why is because a vertical asymptote causes you to divide by zero. Wherever that's located, that means that that x value, you are dividing by zero, your function is undefined. Um, it's not a part of the graph, even though some of the calculators do show it as a line on the graph, and it kind of makes these look like, like heartbeat monitors. Um, but it's actually an invisible line that when we sketch it, we're going to do a bottom line in its place. This is called a non-renewable discontinuity because it's not a single point that we can fix. We can't plug the hole. Um, this is a big old line that we cannot fix with one single point. So it's a non-renewable discontinuity. It cannot be, the problem cannot be removed easily. So vertical asymptotes are created by setting the denominator after you simplify, okay? Because if you, if you do it before you simplify, then you're gonna count something that was a whole as a vertical asymptote as well. There are two different things. Um, and you set that equal to zero, solve for x. This also shows up as, as an error in your table. So you can use your calculator as a tool to tell you where you're gonna have holes in vertical asymptotes, but you gotta know which one's which in order to correctly identify them. So let's look at this example, and we're just going to go through the list. Horizontal asymptote, what would that be for x over x cubed minus 4x? Zero. zero. Y equals zero, because the degree of the denominator is greater. Please, please, please be in the habit of writing it as y equals zero. Don't just write zero on your paper. Okay, yes, I know what you mean, but I need you to be specific about it. Um, holes, we need to factor, okay, obviously the numerator does not factor, the denominator does, first of all it has a GCF of X, and then we can take it a step further, it's the difference of perfect squares. So, the X in the numerator and the denominator cancel, our simplified version is 1 over X plus 2 times X minus 2. That's our simplified version. So that means that we have a whole. Our canceled factor was x, so where that equals 0, that's x equals 0. We need to find its y value. We plug it into the simplified version. So we've got 1 over 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 2. Well, that's 1 over 2 times negative 2, which is negative one fourth. Yes, ma'am. Because you always, whatever you cancel out, you set it equal to zero. So we canceled the x, so we set x equals to zero. Okay, so our whole is the point zero, negative one fourth. Yes, you should always write it as a point. Okay. And last thing we've got is our vertical asymptotes. We take what's left in the denominator after simplifying, set it equal to zero. In this case, we have two. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative two, and we have one at positive two. It is possible to have multiple vertical asymptotes. You can have any combination of these, okay? You don't have to have every single type of discontinuity in your rational function. You may have one, you may have some, um, you'll at least have one of them, okay? Uh, there will be one issue or another. We take the simplified denominator and set it equal to zero. So we were left with x plus two and x minus two in the denominator, we set both of those equal to zero, and we get our two vertical asymptotes, okay? Just for the sake of having the visual to back this up, you can always graph it in your calculator and check it out. X over, but make sure that you put, when there are multiple things in the denominator or numerator, you've got to put it in parentheses or it will not graph it correctly. So we graph that. It's kind of a short little graph, but really, it, it, it's really actually taller than that, but our calculators just don't graph that much detail. But you can see if we go to the table, 
We've got an error at zero, that was our hole. We've got errors at negative two and positive two, those are our vertical asymptotes. And if you kind of zoom in on the graph, um, you'll be able to see um, our horizontal asymptote there in the middle. See how the graph approaches, but it doesn't actually touch. And the same thing, it might just be just about a little bit of zooming in to be able to see all the things better. Uh, but that's just a visual representation of what we just determined. Okay. So we get another one. x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. Do we have a horizontal asymptote? No. Because the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. So none, you can put not applicable, whatever you want to do. Don't put zero, okay? Don't put zero for none um, because zero is a horizontal asymptote. All right, we need to factor the numerator is x plus 2 times x plus 1 over x minus 1. Well, it did factor, but nothing canceled. That happens sometimes, okay? Don't necessarily automatically think that you factored something incorrectly if it didn't cancel. Um, it's not always going to. <clears throat> so that means that we don't have any holes either. because nothing canceled. So vertical asymptotes, all we have to do, take the denominator after simplifying. Well, nothing simplified, so it's just the denominator. Set it equal to zero, solve for x. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals one. Let me show you what this looks like graphically. Again, put in parentheses. Top and bottom. Oops. Let me minus this. Oh, let me zoom back out. Zoom us in for a second. Okay, um, so it's a little weird. You can see here's a piece. It doesn't look like our normal curve. It's kind of, it's, it's got more curve to it. Uh, and then apparently here's a piece up here if I adjust my window. We'll be able to see it a little bit better. Uh, let's see, my y values need to be greater. Okay, see a little bit more the graph. Okay, this is actually an example of one. We'll talk about it in a little bit. That has a slant asymptote. Okay, you can kind of see that there's a slanted line right here that it approaches, but it also has a vertical asymptote at one. Uh, no holes. Talk more about the slant in a minute, but uh, there's that one. 